Dreisaitl, slow to get up, and he is going to really labor back to the Edmonton bench. Dreisaitl tonight, every time he went down, it was an effort to get back up. He laid it all out on the line. He gave as gutsy of an effort as anybody. Huge props to Dreisaitl. When we last saw you, we saw you just unbelievably hanging on during the playoffs. How bad was it? It was bad. I mean, it, it wasn't great. Uh, it didn't feel good. Um, it was painful at times, but wouldn't change it for the world. Did anyone ever say to you, you can't go? It was close. <laughs> um, but I think at the end of the day, it was always my decision to, to get back out there. And I've learned a lot of things along the way, too. What did you learn? I've learned that I can play an effective hockey game without two really strong legs. I had to find a way to be a little more creative, and I think that helps me grow as a player, helps me grow as a person. Rangers having trouble changing here. McDavid, beautiful move. What can you say? You and Connor McDavid, how much do you guys talk during the offseason? Yeah, we talk a lot. We talk a lot about our team, uh, talk a lot about uh, us individually, what we can do better to bring to our group. Connor wants to win so badly. All of us want to win really badly, so we talk a lot, a lot of conversations about our team. And McDavid scores! Game winner! Series winner! I bet you guys are pretty brutally honest with each other. Yeah, we are. We are very honest with each other. So, so tell me, like, what's the most brutally honest thing that you have ever said to Connor McDavid? This summer, I said to him that he needs to score 60 goals because I know that he can. And I think he should be every year. He's just that unselfish. What did you say? He said, ah, I know, I know. <laughs> but he, he knows, he knows. But um, yeah, that was, uh, that was something I was, uh, I was honest with him about. Is there one thing that you, in your own mind, you're saying, we got to get better at that? Yeah, we, ha we have to get better at everything. Would you like to expand on that? No. Nope. You can do that. You know everything. I say this as a compliment. Neither of you guys are good actors. Like, no. like when you guys are losing, you wear it on your faces. Yeah. And I think there's something to be said for the rest of the team kind of feeds off you guys. Right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, sometimes you just need that. You need someone to be like, hey, Leon, come on. We got this. That's a good feeling to have. Dry settles. Got Hyman. Score! Beautiful pass by Leon Dreisaitl. I saw the NHL paid player poll this year. They named you the best passer in the league, your peers. What did you think when you saw that? Expected. <laughs> no. No, I, no I appreciate the honesty. No, um, I take big, big pride in my passing. I think the guys that have, have played with me, they know that. So that truly means the world to me. So this year, when all the Oilers get together in Edmonton for the start of the season, what's going to be said? That it's going to be hard to get to the playoffs again. We have to make sure that we're ready to get back into that because we've done it in 2017. We were a goal away from, from going to the conference finals and we missed the playoffs like the next two years, right? It's hard to do it over and over again. It's funny because I thought you would have said, we're going for the Stanley Cup this year. We are going for the Stanley Cup, but I think there's a process to get there first, right? And that is sometimes harder than actually being there.